Hello folks and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. I'm not playing this in color for some random ass reason. And uh yeah, this was a um a Game Boy game. One of the one of the first ones I actually owned as a kid, besides Tetris and Pokemon. I had red version. Um This was actually I'm trying to remember if this is like one of the first Mario games I ever played. I know I played the original Super Mario Brothers as a kid, but regardless, we're going to play this because I feel like something short. Oh yeah. That is loud in my ear. One moment. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's better. Yep, this is as basic as you get when it comes to Mario games. You run, you jump, you can jump on top of enemies, you can go into pipes. That's about it. I love how this is one of the first videos I suddenly decide, hey, let's go, let's go 1080p. And uh, I decided to do it with a goddamn Mario game from freaking 19... God, what year was this made? From the 90s. Maybe earlier. I'm not sure. It's actually been a while since I've played Slash Beaten this too. Bonk. Yeah, turtles explode. Ah, I got nothing. Oh, and uh, the fire plant does not actually give you fireball, but it gives you a super ball. People remember those, right? Super balls. Oh, that guy takes multiple hits, and you can only ever have one mul one uh, super ball on screen, so you can't really spam it. And yes, that is the freaking can can. As a uh, as the invincibility song. Ah crap! I didn't. Okay, I didn't screw up this first level. So at the end of these, you got two entrance ways that you can go. Bottom one is super basic. Top one is a bonus. He, <laughs> I'm in front of the numbers. Uh, pretty much just random chance. You can either get some lives or power up. Yes. I won't lie. This game. Uh, is I like to think it's hard, if only because I have no skill. And the game is a little bit janky. It is old, it's a little bit stiff. And then, you know, I literally just toss myself into an enemy. I think there's only a grand total of like four levels in this game, period. Bonk. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I mean by janky, like, you'll land and then suddenly zoom. Like, I'm not sure how to properly convey it. I'm terrible at conveying these kind of things. Oh, nope, give me that. I want that. Also, I have to say, while this might not be the best Mario game, it is relatively simple after all. Uh, it's got probably some of the best music in all of the Mario franchise. I'm good. I'm fine. Ba -bum. Ah, see, now it's getting a little bit more complicated. These are falling bricks. I've always aimed at the, in the, um, levels here, the top ones. I always try to aim for the three. Ah, damn it. I always try to go for three lives because I suck at video games. And yes, you will notice that these are um, kind of a kind of Egyptian themed lands. That's because we're not in the Mushroom Kingdom. We're in a place called Sahasrala, which is a desertous region slash water worldy region slash Japanese region. It's it's a little weird, but I like it. Actually, this might be one of the... I was then killed by a sphinx. Par for the course. Are any of these pipes actually interable? 
Ooh. All right, let's let's not get smashed by bricks this time. Damn it! Let's not get killed by Sphinx. Let's kill the Sphinx instead. Look at those hieroglyphics. If anyone can actually translate those hier hieroglyphics, uh, tell me what they mean, because I'm I'm intrigued. Or they're probably not even. But up, mm, jumped right into that one. I've said that I'm rubbish at this game, right? I'm, well, I'm rubbish at video games in general. I do not know. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? So much like an OG Super Mario. Well, OG, more OG than this, Super Mario Brothers. As long as you hit the button at the bridge. You win. Look at those points. And then we get to save the princess. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. Ah. I mean, if you're in, into insects, Mario, that's that's one thing. Just don't. Mm. All right. Try for the three. No, not the freaking flower. You dirty bastard. Ah, oh, well. That's one additional hit. I remember this song a lot less than I do uh, the first world theme and the and the um one from thanks game and the one from uh, where's the Medusa? It? Because I think I always, at the least as a kid, always kind of sucked at these games. So I ended up just never getting very far. Ooh, give me the can can. Still want to try to collect as many whoop, fireball shooting. Vantage. Still want to try to collect as many coins as you can for life up. I wonder if you also get life up when you get points. That'd be nice. Alright. Don't dick me. Freaking dick to me. Oh yeah, by the way, we've been arriving in a spaceship this entire time. Just, you know, FYI. New land. Clearly, it's out of this world. This was uh, Super Mario Galaxy before Super Mario Galaxy. Oh. These enemies were always so goofy. Yeah, let's try taking the top route. I always get a little bit nervous when I'm small Mar Mario Mario. I'm going to interchangeably say Mario and Mario. Just to annoy people. Okay. Okay. I thought for a second that the um fish Okay. Oh, I hate these ones. There we go. <laughs> I'm over the screen. Alright, come on. Yes! Lives! Because I suck at this game. And now we're underwater. This actually might be one of the cooler levels. I love them. Just like the little shmup levels. I don't know what it was about the 90s and uh, shoot 'em ups. But they were always, I don't know. I, I always liked the 90s shoot 'em up stuff. The uh, 80s and 90s were rife with that stuff. One of my favorite PlayStation 2 games is actually a uh, remake of a shmup from the early days of computer gaming called Silphied. It even shares the same name, Silphied. 
but instead it's also got, you know, voice acting and uh, three graphics and really long intricate bosses and kind of a cool bonus system that rewards you for killing enemies when you're super close to the enemy itself. I gotta play that on the channel at some point. I've never beaten it. It is super hard and I usually only get to the last last couple of stages on my life, final, final life. Who knows, maybe after this I'll play some of that. Or maybe I'll play some Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, because that is a fan goddamn tastic Mario game. Anyone that says otherwise has either A, never played it, or B, uh, just sucks. I stand by that statement. Anyway, so we just killed a giant seahorse. I always thought it would be funny if uh, Princess Daisy, when in this stage, was like wearing a full-on um, Aquanaut suit, like freaking diving helmet, all that fun stuff, and then turns on top of Octopus, and it's like, oh no! Alright, uh, lives! You know what? Sure. And, uh, we're on Easter Island now. We're, uh, killing Moai. I don't know why Easter Island was such a... is such a big thing when it comes to Japan. Maybe it was just because it's that level of weird. Which, when it comes to Japan, Japan it can be pretty damn weird. I did not mean to step on that bullet bill, but alright. Were they even called bullet bills at this point? I think they might have been. I don't know how that one had killed that that damn fast. Yeah. <laughs> Only mildly stressing about bullet bills. Oh hey, your little running moai. <laughs> eh. I get a little bit anxious about things that decide to work just randomly run at me. Oh yeah, these guys will follow you. Little annoying bastards. I have beaten this game. It's just that I'm still rather unskilled and more often than not I will game over. Uh as opposed to beat the game. <laughs> and now I don't have my Super Ball, so I got to resort to the old Mar Mario staple of bonking them on the head and letting Koopas explode themselves. I don't know why Koopas explode in this game. No! <laughs> ah, how did I undershoot the same goddamn jump twice? So good at video games, you guys. Lose two lives to the same jump. Not even that hard of a jump. It's just kind of difficult to t calculate, I guess. Da, 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 da. I made it this time. And this time I'm just gonna jump over everything. Get my life up. Oh yeah. Don't miss this rock. Uh, you will regret it for the rest of your Super Mario Land career. However long that might be. Now, depending on the length of this video, uh, I might honestly just try to beat the game entirely. Whoop. No! So if you land on anything but the top of that rock, uh, you'll be squished. I... okay. You can see why now I just try to collect all the lives. Are you kidding? That was right on top of the rock. Game, come on. I was robbed. I was... I was robbed on that one. Alright, let's try this again. This time with feeling. 
Can you see the lovely freaking um, 60 FPS? <gasps> okay, that was not worth the small heart attack that I just had. Oh, nor was this, nor was this. Can I reach that? I better be able to reach that. I need to make up for the... No! All is lost. All is lost to me. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Oh, am I going to have that? Please sit. Ah, damn it. 700 off. Now we get another one of these. This time there's, uh, pixelated spiders. I've reached a hundred thousand points. Pixel spider. Double pixel spider. I actually have to... <clears throat> excuse me, I actually have to randomly ask because I don't know if it's a thing. Uh, are people that have arachnophobia affected heavily by pixelated spiders? And I'm talking like this kind of pixelation when it comes to spiders, not like... Oh, it doesn't look like a spider anymore because we removed its legs and face and now it's just this... mildly terrifying blob. Yes, I am referring to the uh, probably more terrifying blob that just kind of floats at you and grounded. Fun game, but that is terrifying. Son of a taint. <gasps> Take that spider. I actually really do like spiders. I find them an interesting uh, arachnid. I prefer them over scorpions. That's for sure. Um, damn it, more rock segment. <gasps> the the waterfall isn't helping either. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. <gasps> How did I not get hit? <laughs> uh sure dumb luck. Alright, come on. Boop. Nope. Boop. There we go. Oh good, a falling bridge segment. Eh. Only gonna have. That's fine. It was not fine. Was this the next flying segment? There was two flying segments that I remember. Nope, I think this one's the actual Temple Temple segment. Nope. I thought it was still moving to the left. I just. I only ever remember that one pipe in the first world as um, one you can jump in. All of the other ones, I have no clue where they are. Whoop. Nope, don't whisk me away, Mr. Boulder. Okay, that one has got to be one. I was right. Think crap it, because I need lives. This is actually one of my... God, I think I just... I think of all of the Mario games. When it comes to the music, this one's got, like... It's my fave. That's all I can really say about it. It's my fave when it comes to the music. Like, don't, make, don't get me wrong, all the other ones are still pretty iconic in my head, but man, it just, it, oh god, <laughs> small, okay, mm small aneurysm, am I supposed to, oh, okay, oh cool, 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 but yeah, I don't know, uh, it's just something about this particular music. Um, definitely shows... I guess the diversity? Of music? 
If that makes any sense. I hope it makes sense. Okay. Frick me. Am I back over? Oh no, I think I literally just died right at the checkpoint. Cool. Go away, Moai head. Oh man, I'm kind of remembering this one. There we go. Nailed it. Fall off rocks and get into some giant spiky situation at least four times. Manage to manage to jump on top of rock, a rock to rock to rock to hit a switch once. My Mario skills are coming back. I think this um this last level coming up, this last world rather, is one of my favorites, but it's also kinda hard. I really should have Yeah. And yes, this one is inspired by um kind of an ancient China. You hit, you got those Yangshi vampires. Which, interesting story about those creatures, really. Um, legends tell. Hey, legends tell that uh, a lot of people die away from like cemeteries and whatnot when it comes to ancient China. So, both. What would happen is that uh, apothecaries and doctors, after a time, would cast a spell on these on the corpses in order to have it so as they will uh, animate for a time being and when they do they do become like semi invincible and if they ever lose the talisman that is on their face which was put there to be controlled uh, they would lose control of the Xiangxi I hope I'm saying that right I'm probably butchering it And then they would proceed to continue their unlife, um, eating the life energy of the living. I jumped right into that bullet so I could avoid the Goomba. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I saw that brick falling. That is a dirty, dirty brick. <laughs> Don't fall. Hello, Mr. Zhangxi. So yeah, uh, whenever you would see someone die in this game to a Zhang Shi, just imagining uh, Mario effectively just having his soul ripped from his body, and bam, got a got an accurate depiction of what's going on there. Hello, damn it! I was hoping that was gonna be a uh, mushroom. Oh, hello. Ah, yeah, yes. I love how I'm getting so excited about getting such a rel relatively simple. Oh, cool! Rel relatively simple jump. Actually, I think this is also one of those Mar uh, Mario games where, due to the pixelation, it really doesn't look like he has. That's dirty. It looks like he doesn't have. Not a mouth, but doesn't have his signature mus mustache. Mustachioed. Alright, this guy's always sucked. As a cute snake. Probably could... Can I get in there? Damn it. If I had the um, mushroom, I probably could have made that. Frick me. My hubris. Let me in. I want those. I want the coins. I want the currency. I want the money. I tried to jump immediately as I jumped backwards. 
You would think that after playing for the last, like, 25 minutes, I'd already have the mechanics of this game down pat. No. Y you guys forget that you are watching me play video games, and I suck at them. Alright. Like, um... Super Mega Final Ending of Blood Will Tell there. <laughs> Come on. What is it with this section I can't pass by? Rolled 4-2. You suck. Anyways. But, uh, like, uh, Blood Will Tell. I had emulated that. And because I emulated it, I decided to that if I'm going to... I, I just couldn't do, like, all the button presses because I don't have the reflexes of a goddamn meerkat that just downed an entire six-pack of monster energy. Come on. There we go. I'm free! Ah, my presence! Oh! Squandered. Squandered my present, I did. Please, after that whole... Oh, thank God. But yeah. Uh, I don't have the reflexes of a mirror cat that is... Are you crapping me? I better not freaking lose at this point. I am so close to the end of this level. Come on. Gonna run away now. Gonna run... You piece of... Agony! Okay, that's fine. Only got one life left. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Mr. Mario. Also, they give you this at this point, which is just like a giant middle finger to the player. <laughs> like, oh, better, uh, better move fast or you're gonna waste it. It's like... I, I would love to not waste it. But you gave it to me at such an, an opportune moment. <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying. Um, I pretty much just did that final segment with uh, emulation slowdown. Because there was no way in hell I was going to be able to... Make that. So yes, I am bad at video games. Now let's hope that it's gracious enough to give me lives. I just want your lives. No. Mm. Fine. Well. At the least, this is the moderately easier levels. The shmup levels. I like to think they're easier, but sometimes they are more difficult. I love that I'm shooting super balls just everywhere. Need to be careful because now enemies are actually starting to shoot projectiles. Usually back at me for reasons. I'll take the... Kinda wish that... Kinda of always... Life! Oh, that's dirty. Can't break those. That's fine. I got three lives to beat the game. I'm trying to break all these bricks because they all... They usually give you something good. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Nearly screwed myself there. Oh, yeah. If I was wa Wario right now, I'd be so happy. Oh, I better get back down here. Da 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 then a little speedy obstacle course. 
Better hurry up. I don't even know why they have a timer on these particular levels. Why are there spikes on the in outside of that wall? Wouldn't they... Wouldn't... I don't know. Wouldn't you want them on the inside so as it has a... Yes, those are fists that come out of the pipes. And this is the enemy. A cloud that shoots birds. We win! Or do we? Can I... Yeah, this boss sucks. You shoot his big balls, they become small balls. And uh, he is constantly moving around the screen. Usually in an upward angle. Oh, you don't even have to... Frick. So you don't even have to shoot the balls in order for them to become... No! Okay. Give me that at the least. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Got another life. Okay. I do have to face Cloud Man again. Are you... Me? God, what is wrong with you, Dar? It doesn't help that these enemies also, like... You feel like that they're gonna just fly by, and then suddenly it's like, oh hey, you're gonna move right into your face. I believe this guy's name is like Taranga or something like that. So, mm, balls. No, oh, you're so bad at video games. Yep. That's, that's more or less just me telling myself I'm bad at video games, just so people know. I know I'm bad. Get off my screen. I got bigger, better, better fish to fry in order to save my princess. Oh, if that bird had hit me at the last possible second. It's not just me, right? This guy is legitimately difficult. It's probably just me and I suck. I mean, I don't feel like there's much of a pattern beyond just going up and down, but I win! Oh, Daisy! Daisy! Thank you, Mario! Hearts. Your quest is over. Uh, this has always been one of those fun little games that you can quickly, you know, beat in like 30 minutes. I gotta remember, this was on a Game Boy, so if you were going somewhere and you just had 30 minutes to kill, bam. That was, that was your 30 minutes. Or quicker, if you knew the ins and outs of how to move and through the pipes and skip a bunch of levels. And I think that, honestly, this might be one of the first video games... Sorry about my mic. Uh, this might actually be one of the first video games that I remember, anyways, that had some sort of influence of Chinese variety. Where, you know, bamboo shoots, the Zhangxi, and all that fun stuff. It's just, I don't know. The music to me is stuck firmly in my head. So, so firmly in my head, and I love it. I mean, it's mostly that first level. Like, it, before, beforehand, I was grabbing my coffee before I was recording this, and I was just doing the da 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 bum 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 ba -dum, bum bum. Uh, my folks gave me a look. I was like, what the hell's going on with him? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, 
call it a video there. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, small, small little game. Uh, I might, I, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. I feel like I want to do Super Mario Land 2 next. That is a significantly longer, significantly harder uh, game. Unless you farm coins, but we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little one video thing and uh, me kind of testing out doing 1080. Um, this might be the first video to do that and might be a long running theme. I don't know. If you guys like this, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff really helps out the channel. And of course, if you want to assist uh, the channel in a financial fashion. I have Patreon and Streamlab links down in the description below. Check those out. However much you throw, all of it goes right back into the channel. This is fun. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.